It is Saturday, August 15th, 2020, and it's 12.27 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's time to read Judges chapter 8. Hallelujah. It was there by faith. I'll be happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Hallelujah. Y'all, I love Jesus so much. I just want to serve him. And I hope that, uh, I just hope and pray that somebody, that somebody's praying with me, that I want to go home with Jesus. And the burdens of my heart rolled away, it was there by faith. If we see my sight, I'll be happy all the day. It's time to read Judges chapter 8. Even so, come Lord Jesus. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou calledest us not when thou wantest that thou wentest to fight with the Midianites, and they did chide with them sharply. And he said unto them, What have I done now in comparison of you? Is it not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? God hath delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Orb, and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated toward him when he said, said that. And Gideon came to Jordan and passed over he and the three hundred men that were with him faint, yet pursuing them. And he said unto the men of Succoth, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be faint, and I am pursuing after Zeba and Z Zalmunna, kings of Midian. And the princes of Succoth said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thine army? And Gideon said, Therefore, when the Lord hath delivered Zeba and Zalmunna into mine hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and, the, and with briars. And he went up thence to Penuel and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Sukkoth had answered him and spake also unto the men of Penuel, saying, When I come again in peace, I will break down this tower. <laughs> Now Zeba and Zalmunna were in Karkor, and their host with them, about 15,000 men, all that were left of the host of the children of the east, for there fell 120,000 men that drew sword. And Gideon went up by the way of them that dwelt in tents on the east and Noba and, and Gogbeha, Gog and smote the host, for the host was secure. And when Zeba and Zalmunna fled, he pursued after them and took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmunna, and discomfited all the host. And Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle before the sun was up. Hallelujah! And caught a young man of the men of Sukkoth and inquired of him. And he described unto him the princes of Sukkoth and the elders thereof, even threescore and seventeen men. And he came unto the men of Sukkoth and said, Behold, Zeba and Zalmunna, with whom ye did upbraid me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna now in thine hand, that we should give thee that we should give bread unto thy men that are weary? And he took the elders of the city and thorns of the wilderness and briars, and with them he taught the men of Sukkoth, mm. and beat down the tower of Penuel and slew the men of the city. Then said he unto Zeba. And Zalmunna, what manner of men were they whom, whom you slew at Tabor? And they answered, As thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. And he said, 
There were, there were my brethren, even the sons of my mother, as the Lord liveth. And if ye had saved them alive, I would not slay you. And he said unto Jether, his firstborn, Up and slay them. But the youth drew not his sword, for he feared, because he was yet a youth. Then Zeba and Zalmun said, Rise thou and fall upon us. And for as the man is, so is his strength. And Gideon arose and slew Zeba and Zalmunna and took away the ornaments that were on their camels' necks. And the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Rule thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, for thou hast delivered us from the, man, from the hand of Midian. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you. The Lord shall rule over you. And Gideon said unto them, I will, des I will desire a request of you that ye would would give me every man the earring uh, the earrings of his prey, for they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. Ew. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a garment and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold beside ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian and beside their chains were about their camels' necks. And Gideon made an ephod thereof and put it in his city, even in Ophrah. And all Israel went, went thither a whoring after it, which thing became a snare unto Gideon and to his house. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Israel, so that they lifted up their heads no more, as the country was in quietness forty years in the days of Gideon. And Jerubbabel, the son of Joash, went and, d and dwelt in his own house. And Gideon had three score and two sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. And his concubine that was in Shechem, she also bare him a son, whose name he called Abimelech. And Gideon, the son of Joash, died in a good old age and was buried in the sepulchre of Joash's father in Ophrah and the Abizarites. And it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again and went to whoring after Balaam and made Baalbareth their god. Good God! These people, they these people of Israel, they just would not stay with the Lord. And the children of Israel remembered not the Lord their God, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Neither showed they kindness to the house of Jerubbabel, namely Gideon, according to all the goodness which he had showed unto Israel. Wow. <laughs> 